to say I'm really impressed by how comfortable the Haven tent is to sleep in. I mean, I've slept in pretty much all hammocks and, you know, the, uh, the Hennessy's always been one of my favorites just because it's two ropes and you're done. Just a real simple setup. Uh, this one's not far from it. It's not as easily set up. But it's definitely the most comfortable hammock I've ever slept in. Uh, but, I mean, that's if you have their own sleeping pad in it. Uh, and it's a heavier solution. I mean, obviously, this one, the Savari tent, is just ridiculous. I think it's like four kilos, five kilos. Uh, but that's not something you're going to have backpack. It's purely for car camping, this one. Uh, but the Haven tent, XL, and the lightweight, I mean, they're actually a pretty good solution. Total, under three kilos for your entire sleep setup. So that's not too bad for a hammock setup. And that's, you know, hammocks usually are going to weigh a little bit more because you got to have so much more stuff with you. This one, I mean, it's a proper flat lay. And I would even say that you get the, I mean, I laid on my stomach tonight, fell asleep on my stomach because I was testing if, uh, if I could on this one. And I could, really comfortable, lots of space in here. Uh, now, yeah, I don't want to take my boots off, but it's kind of cold, but I, I won't, so. slept really, really good. I should say me and Anna slept really good. My doggy. This is proper glamping. You're not going to get much more comfortable than this in the outdoors. And it's really not that difficult to set up. It's these two, uh, you know, the, the tree huggers. It's pretty much the same strap. You can kind of see that. I'll, I'll show up close. But on the inside here, it's got pockets all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, six pockets on the inside. Oh, that's all wet. And it's got this really large net. Uh, and of course, that closes down completely. I'm not doing like a full review here because it's there's a lot of reviews out there. It's more like my own experiences with it. And I've slept this maybe five, six nights now. So uh, enough to know if I like it or not. And I really do like it. In fact, it, it lives in my car now. I, I always have like a tent, a sleeping mat, and a hammock in my car. Just in case I feel like going out just overnight like I did now. Then I can just pull it out and I know I've got somewhere to sleep. And um, so this one's kind of taken that top spot there. So when I go out and camp, that's the one I'm choosing if I'm going to be sleeping near the car. Yeah, so right here, these tents have really big ventilation on both sides. And you'll see that when you put the, ham the tarp on, it kind of hugs this. Uh, if it's like really stormy, you want to get that tight. But you still got ventilation and air in there and these nice big vents. Yeah, and you can see here. Now that's the tree hugger and the sling at once. And then it just hooks in there. Now if the trees are much further apart, <clears throat> I would suggest getting the whoopee slings. And that just opens it up so that you have a lot longer. So that you can really be flexible in how far the trees are from each other. So I just kind of keep that on there because there's no point in taking it off really. Now on this one, if you're one of those people that needs to have these kind of things, the flaggy so that you really feel like you're part of the glamping spirit, the safari tent comes with that, you know, so you'll be, you can take those nice Instagram photos. Beaners, all of this is included, nothing you have to add on. So you can pitch it like on really stormy days. You want to put those grommets in there so that you get like a proper full protection. Now, if it's just raining, then of course you can set it up 
like you would any other hammock. The the tarp. But I like that setup. I mean, just so easy. Uh, I like easy. So anyway, that's a uh, just a quick rundown of the Haven tent. If you're looking for something that's just incredibly comfortable, easy to set up, very stable. Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as hammock goes, I don't know if there's a better design hammock right now. Uh, as far as comfort goes, I mean, it's not the lightest solution, but it's certainly the most comfortable. Yeah, cheers.